So we're at uh, Camp Off Grid and we're just going to do a few van tours and the first one we're going to look at is Ford Transit and the owner is Ian, Ian from Stratford-on-Avon and you've converted this did it myself yeah bought it from the auctions um, and completely did it myself most of it's recycled wood but I had to buy a few bits and pieces carpet and a bit of plywood and some insulation and I insulated it an inch thick all round um, what did you use for that uh, Celotex oh yeah 25 millimeter Celotex tin foil line stuff uh, I think builders use it for doing rooms and things uh -huh. anyway it works fine in there and then the door pillars and things that aren't carpeted um, I filled with bug free foam that it was advertised as so it doesn't it doesn't rot and it yeah. doesn't uh, hold moisture so I filled some of the awkward shapes with foam right yeah yeah um, was that easy to yeah it's easy it? to do there's, there's already holes in the van uh, various little plugs like this one here where, where you get access to to do the brake light and things yeah. and these were where it was originally ply line there was no windows in it originally yeah I put these in that's I, you know, intrepidation there isn't it when you start cutting holes in scary <laughs> yeah. well yeah it really was scary but the it was very easy to do because the recess was already there you just got to follow it with a nibbler all oh, right it's dead easy to do and give or take two or three millimeters it's fine yeah because you've got always got the um the beading that goes around yeah, anyway this, to hide any yeah you just yeah. Uh, take the burrs off paint it yeah. i painted it just to stop the rust possibly and then this stuff just hammers on yeah cut it to trim it trim it clean the outside with a special chemical yeah. and because uh, you got to you've got a, a few millimeters either way because it's su such an overlap on the outside yeah it doesn't really matter yeah. um and then you just put the the adhesive on yeah and stick it on uh an hour 20 hours 20 hours he said it said leave it so you leave it 20 20 hours that day yeah then it's fine drove Brilliant. it so i did these two and the sli sliding door yeah. and i took the bulkhead out as well it had a bulkhead mm -hmm. so i took that out that was just that was just 12 bolts yeah i was i had to grind it out it, it did was, you yeah it was, it was horrible well these transits are quite good like that then yeah. it, it was just 12 bolts yeah. and then the bed i, I made uh, it's all out of recycled wood but i bought the foam and they i put it underneath it there's a space there for my fishing rods and things mm -hmm. to go in there and then underneath is just storage for all the odds and ends food uh, is, a, is a tub up there um, yeah those just pull out mm -hmm. and then I built this out of scrap wood I bought the top bought the sink unit but um, this just this end has the water tank yeah and then behind that is a, a, a dirty water tank. And you're and saying that that's your electric hookup? That's my basic, very basic, okay. simple electric hookup. You just plug it in and bring it into the van. Mm -hmm. uh, to be honest, I've never used it. No. So far, anyway. Yeah. But it's uh, there. It's there if I need it. Yeah. Um, well, that's that. And then around the other end of this mm -hmm. is the gas bottles and things. A gas oh. bottle down there with um with the statutory hole in the bottom for the yeah drop through drop through for the gas yeah and yeah. You, again storage above it's it. just storage of all sorts of things odds and ends and tools and yeah. things uh, uh well just whatever yeah you know and then under there there was a big seat a big space under there so i've put there's two batteries under there yeah two extra batteries yeah uh, with a cut off yeah and they they power the pump for the sink um, and I put the three of those boxes like that one there it's got two USBs and a cigarette charger and then there's one on each door pillar like over there mm -hmm. as well um, and this light yeah. uh, which is uh, this light does a row of LEDs over the over the sink yeah uh, just... yeah yeah jump in yeah <laughs> Yeah, this switch does the LEDs over the sink. Yeah. 
and this one I don't know why I put this in it was it was uh, I put this in first and it does that it does that one there but you can't see it in the daytime mm-hmm yeah, you can see it, just pick it up it's on quite there, effective yeah. at night yeah um, but in the daytime yeah. but of course LEDs yeah. very low power drain aren't they and what sort of heating have you got in here none yes. none, none yet <laughs> no yeah. I've got any heating at all I, I've got um, I've the got dog a, a dog and <laughs> I've got a gas heater there yeah but they're not really recommended no because you can, if you fall asleep with it on yeah if you gas yourself or you could it yeah. could fall over the dog could knock it over <laughs> and you were telling me about a little oh your um yeah the table table well i had no table so what i, what I did was what at the moment it's just a torch holder <laughs> <laughs> i fixed um, a scaffold a wide scaffold to the floor down there uh, and to here mm -hmm. and that's quite that's really solid now yeah i haven't got it with me but the there's another scaffold leg that drops into there then there's an elbow which brings it out at a short distance then another elbow uh, and the table sits onto it so it can it can move and it can rotate yes so i can have it here across here while i'm if I want to look out or if it's bad weather yeah i can swing it and put it over my knee over there from watching the tv or something yeah. my tv isn't with me no but it will just eventually it's going to sit on the back mm -hmm. on the back a-frame over there I'll put a bracket onto there. Uh, the, these might be in review soon. Mm -hmm. I'm not keen on this because it's, uh, but it is handy to have. Daryl's uses a, um, a mesh bag for the, the veg hanging up. Yeah. And I don't like that. Either. No, no, no. Because uh, things move. I don't like things swinging about. No. I don't know why. It's just. Uh, yeah. But yeah. Um, there's too much in there really for what it's designed for. Mm. Um, yeah, and that's it really. It's, yeah. um, this is just this was just an afterthought, a little just a little cupboard with essentials in. Yeah, I need lots more like these these sort of cupboards. Yes, and I might put. Um, I'm thinking when I go home, that corner over there, I might take that little sort of shelf out, mm -hmm. uh, and then just up the back, probably about 18 inches wide from the side outwards, uh, just up the back there. I might mm -hmm. put just a row of uh, tilted shelves. Yes. Uh, so I can put more essentials in there and tidy that mess up there in that corner. Mm. And then I think I think I'm pretty much sorted then. But it's still it's it's an ongoing uh, job, and I've, I still need to get a small awning for out here. Mm -hmm. uh, I still need to get uh, a solar panel and a diesel heater. Yeah. I think I'm going to go for one of the Chinese ones. Well, one <coughs> one of the vans has just had one fitted up the top end. Yeah, so I yeah, watched them fit it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, they are very good. Yeah, but they're £150 compared, compared to, to the £800 the pound yeah, yeah. German ones, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so. Lovely. Yeah. And you've, and you've got a nice long bed. Oh, it's. And it's, it's a seat, you know, seat, haven't you? Yeah, it's it's well wide enough for me. Uh, I mean, it's only one person, really, but the dog can get on there as well. Yeah. But it's very comfy. Mm -hmm. and it's more than long enough. Yeah, yeah. Looks nice. I, I'm, Unfortunately, I'm too tall to go across that way and across the back. Yes, yeah. which would be the the best way to do yeah. it. But I'm too tall. But the way you've got it, it's a permanent bed yeah. plus yeah. your seating as well. So it is, it's, yeah, it's, it it's best of both worlds, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Lovely. Well, thank yeah. you very much. Okay, no problem. So that's uh, the Ford Transit. The reason I, I bought the transit van was because of the height of it. I wanted something that would go under a standard 2.1 max headroom yeah, barrier. Yeah, barrier. This, if I take the aerial off, the antenna off, unscrew it, it just fits under with about an inch and a half, inch and a quarter to spare, depending on what I'm carrying. Yeah. Rules. So you're not restricted to where you can. No, I can get under barriers. Yeah. Uh, it's I always get out to check because some councils are not. Mm. They don't apply the 2.1 height rigidly so or if they re it after they fitted mm. the barrier it may not fit because yeah. it's such a close fit to start with because right. we even have problems with the Land Rovers getting under yeah. some barriers yeah I, I do I've got a Land Rover as well and it and I've had trouble with that in fact I ripped a roof rack off my Land yeah. Rover yeah uh, at home going to hospital never thought and just went under bang it <laughs> pulled my roof rack off Gosh. and bent the gutters on the oh. oh, was off. yeah so now I'm very cautious so I have to take that just take the air off. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Apart from that, I mean, I'm quite pleased with it. No, you've been a good friend. 